Cheryl Storms, who passed away, she brought me to Julio on 104th Street, which was a small building, a small office space. And he hired me, and I've been here since then. Julio is my Moses. I call him my Moses because next to God, mm, there's nobody else that can take this guy's place. He's done so much. And I go above and beyond. There's nothing, nothing that he can ask of me and I wouldn't do. I love him. <clears throat> He's my rock. And I could stay here all day and just tell you the reasons why I care about this guy. And if I don't stop, I'll get very emotional. People don't understand my plight and what I do. Tell me, Gene, why are you still here? My reason is because this is my call and this is what I do. So if it's my last day on earth, and this is where I have to leave from, then so be it. It would be Exodus. Peace. Peace. How you doing? My name is Hector Lopez. I'm a case manager here at Exodus. How can I help you today? Give me a story about Julio Medina, or attribute, or something that um, you think people would want to know that don't know. So I'd say uh, he's a very open-minded, charismatic guy. And he gave me an opportunity for employment that nobody else would. I used to work in health and hospitals. They did a background check on me for the second time after they employed me for over a year, and they decided to immediately terminate me. So uh, I, I came to Exodus and I told Julio that story, and he said he'll have a child get in touch with me. And I'm sitting behind this desk today, providing the service to all the people who are in the same position that I was. He's a great guy, caring guy, and he lives for his community. Peace. Good morning, everybody. My name is Talib Abdul Rashid. Tell me a story about Julio Medina. Medina is one of the best dudes I've ever met. You know, he gave me an opportunity to get my life in order, which I'm talking to other people in Rackers Island, the four building. I'm with a program called Credible, Credible Messenger. We're going out there giving back what we went through in our life and giving our life story. So uh -huh. basically, he gave you the platform. Yes, he gave me the platform. Stop people from do, going through with the, yes. the turmoil you went through. Yes. Peace. Peace. His name is Pep George Villanueva, a facilitator of Exodus Transitional Community. Peace. Give me a story about Julio Medina or attribute to him anything you think people should know that don't know. Something about Julio. Julio Medina is one of the most compassionate persons that I've met, but at the same time firm. He know how to balance both worlds. And that's the beauty of him. He know how to communicate with us still and stay corporate as well. You can't get no better than that. That's a brother, a friend, and my boss. I appreciate him greatly. Peace. Peace. Hello, my name is Ibrahim Rivera. I am the case management coordinator for the J2J, now called the Community Reentry Network. I would like to tell you how I met Julio Medina. I was incarcerated in New Jersey prison system, although I was from New York. And when I was looking for resources to come to New York, I wrote all the different programs, Fortune, Osborne, every program that I could think of. And the only person who actually wrote me was Julio Medina, saying that he had a place for me when I come to Exodus. Wow. Upon my release, I came out and everybody was telling me, go to Fortune, go to Osborne because they got more money. And I said, no, I want to go to Julio Medina because he's the one that wrote me while I was incarcerated. And actually, I still have the letter that he wrote me. On top of that, because of COVID protocols, I was caught in a trap where I couldn't be released from prison. Not knowing what was going on, I met a man named Jose Cartagena, who was part of the Puerto Rican Defense League. And he contacted Julio on my behalf. So not only did Julio write me, but Julio was instrumental on my release from prison because they were holding me nine months after I had made parole. So when I came to Exodus, I knew that I had found a home because Julio had been instrumental in my life before I even knew who Julio was. And that's my little story of Julio Medina. Peace, Chris. Peace. Um, tell me something about the chief, man, that you really, you know what I'm saying, look up to, man. Oh, shit. Um... Damn, bro, I don't even really like the chief like that, to be honest with you. Um, he fired me about 10 times. You know what I'm saying? I'd be asking him for a little chicken. He'll never give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. Sean Doherty. Give me a little something about the chief. 
Okay, so years ago I started getting interested in prisoner reentry, and I somehow found the guts to reach out to Julio and asked him for an informational interview, and he said yes. So I sat down with him and he told me a little bit about Exodus and answered my questions about prisoner reentry and introduced me to a participant that had just come home after a long sentence. So I got to sit down with that participant a couple of times. And, um, you know, I learned what I learned and I went on my merry way and um, that interest grew. And uh, six, seven years pass and um, I answer that on, on Indeed for Exodus and here I am. So, um, you know, he, he really inspired me. Um, a good part of the reason that I'm working on a Master of Social Work degree is because of that interest that he helped kindle in prisoner reentry. So, big influence. Peace. What's up, boss lady? What's going on, Chris? Tell these people your name. My name is Sharika Stewart. What you do for us here at Exodus? I'm a human service agent. I just basically just love on the people that surround me and try to help bring out the best things about them and help them embrace the things that they want to change. Tell like, me a little something about Julio Medina. So Julio Medina, the chief, I don't know, he's an amazing man. To me, he's amazing because he basically opened up opportunity for so many people that didn't were like um, exed out by the world that no one even thought that they had any knowledge or spirit or passion and he's just placing all this opportunity for people to level up um, and I love how it is it's like a it's a give and take relationship so it's like work for me and do the things I need you to do and I promise you you're gonna get the places that you where you could do what you want to do and he gives us space to like live our dreams, he give us space to bring our ideas, he give us the people and the resources that we need that's going to make it feel like we're in control of our own destiny. So I love that he allows us to be us while allowing us to have a seat at the table that we never thought we would be able to eat at Peace. type shit. <laughs> Peace. Peace. Tell me something about Julio Medina, anything, an attribute, something you think people don't know um, but they need to know. I, I mean, yo, that's a good one. There's so many, but I'm gonna just touch on this uh, this one that I've observed with the chief uh, that I really admire is uh, is, the, is the example you know that he leads for us. You know, as the chief, uh, one thing I take from his uh, you know uh, from his character is um, he holds the position of a servant and not of the chief. And despite his his uh, his CEO position. Um, he leads by example by having the spirit of a servant and there's no greater position uh, than to have than to be a servant even even um, Jesus says the first shall be last and the last shall be first and you know Julio really emulates that and that's what I want I want to hold the position of a servant no matter what title you give me I'm called to serve peace peace Tell these people your name. Jerry X or Jerry 3X. Tell them something about my pops, Julio Medina. Well, all I got to do is say this. The way he gives back is what I'll admire about his character. Peace. Peace.